All right, bienvenidos. Today, for this unit, we are going to start talking about promotion. So we've already talked about our four P's. Those make up our marketing mix, product, price, place, promotion. All right, we talked about our product, what we're making, our place, where we're going to sell it at, price, how much we're going to charge. And today, in this, like I said, this unit, we're going to talk about promotion. So we look at promotion, the advancement of a product, idea, or point of view through publicity and or advertising. So how are we going to get out our product? That's the, the one thing that we think of the most, okay? Our product, our commercials. Uh, we can look at ideas and, or point of view. I think when we talk about ideas and point of view, we might look at those more as our governmental things, uh, politicians that are running. They're trying to put out their point of view. So through publicity and or advertising. And publicity goes a long way and so does advertising. So uh, promotion is advertising a product or brand because it, it sometimes it is for a specific product. Sometimes it's for a brand. Our purpose is to generate sales. And what we're looking for is brand loyalty. OK, we talked about this before. We want people that want our brand above everybody else. We, we're looking for a stimulation of sales achieved through and we can do it, get it through a lot of different ways. OK, all of these are types of promotions. OK. Contests, demonstrations, discounts, exhibitions, going to a trade show, having games, giveaways, point of sale. So where we're selling something at a display, uh, merchandising, special offers, similar activities. All of these are different ways of promotion. There is a long, long list of ways to promote your product, your service, your idea. Talking about a lot of different things. Promotion includes all activities that involve communicating this is what we're trying to do. Trying to communicate with the customer about the product and its benefits and features. So again, we talked about it could be a lot of things. We're just going to say product from here probably for a while. It's benefits and features. We talked about these being the USP. Okay. What's the benefit? What makes our product that we're trying to tell you about better than everyone else? What's the features? We talked about this when we talked about place, that ability to be able to explain exactly what that USP is, what that means, because it's ours and how we lose that sometimes with intermediaries. The main aim of promotion is to ensure that customers are aware of the existent existence, that we're still there. We talked about that in our product life cycle, maybe towards the end, that we're still around and position of our products. Positioning, we're still the best. We're still number one because that's where we're trying to always be with our, especially trying to follow through with our USP. We are the best at whatever it is we do. Promotion is also used to persuade customers. So we want to make them believe that the product is better than the competing products and to remind customers about why they may want to buy. Again, we're trying to tell you why ours is better. We have to be able to communicate that, all right? We're going to buy communication. We're going to persuade. We're going to make you think that our product is the best, our tool is the best solution. We talked about that one before too. In order to convince them to buy your product, you need to explain what it is, how to use it, and why they should buy. Those all should sound familiar. That's our USP. We gotta convince them that our USP is true, what it is. The trick in promoting is letting consumers feel that their needs, talked about this from before, can be satisfied by what you are selling. I got the solution. My, mine is the best. Okay, so we've seen a lot of good things. We've seen a lot of bad things. We'll talk about those.